And this is why no one takes us seriously. <laughs> this week's Weird Wednesday is sponsored by the Ghost Rep Files of Chuck Lagoon. Happy hump day everyone and welcome to this week's Weird Wednesday. So let's dive straight into the news. Uh, so a river has been stolen. That's cool, I like that. Um, so yep, that isn't a typo. A river has really been stolen. Uh, last year, without anyone realizing, the Slims River in Canada See, that's was- that's a cool name for a river, Slims. Slims. The River Slim. The River Slims. Up Slim? Yeah. Uh, in Canada was redirected, uh, and the largest lake of the river has all dried up uh, with the wildlife that died soon after. <laughs> yep. um, so Dan Sugar, who is an expert on river piracy, <laughs> that's the best job title in the world. It's either the coolest job in the world or the loneliest. Uh, yeah. He just sits at his computer with an empty inbox and then, come on, someone, I want some river piracy. <laughs> it's, yeah. On his CV, river pirate expert. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be happy with that. Uh, so Dan's pretty stunned uh, because, well, this is the first time he's actually come across anything as big as this. Yeah, in other words, it's his first ever job. <laughs> so, what the grease finally doing something? <laughs> uh, so now you're probably thinking that it was a greedy corporation that they did this, but uh, but you're you're wrong. Uh, in fact, you're it was wrong. it's all because of a glacier uh, known to the locals as Tanshi. Uh, the glacier fed in well, fed the Slims River, um, but the glacier created a topographic divide which sadly shrank last year due to rising temperatures, which meant that the water went down a different path, drying up the river. So Mother... <laughs> so Mother Earth was, uh, was the river. James, fire. you're on points today. <sighs> yes, I can do the Sharkano. <laughs> it's yes. just an awful, awful spin-off. No, no, <laughs> it's totally legit. Sharkano. <laughs> sci-fi, coming sci-fi, 2017, summer. Shark... How would they do that? Would it be the, like, would, Just the, the, would the volcano, like the shark have a volcano head? And then lava would no, spill no, out? No, 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 shark, no, sharks would be sucked into the volcano and then come out. And then they'd come out with like lava eyes and like, yeah, you should make that. <laughs> anyway, on an expedition in 2015, National Geography, Geographic even, Geography <laughs> CR, I read this one, it's really good, uh, <laughs> uh, found sharks living inside one of the most uh, active underwater volcanoes in the world. And now they're planning to send robots to check out the area where these sharks live. So Brenna Phillips, who is working on the project, was asked uh, why they are sending the subs to analyze the shark, you know, sharks and all that sort of thing, and she simply replied, because it's cool. Yeah, it you know, it's, it's one of those things. <laughs> the, the guys over in Nat Geo are uh, very curious, um, so they're going to be sending these robotic subs to obviously check out the pH levels, the carbon dioxide levels, and the overall acidity in the water and how the sharks can survive in the area. Mm. It's because they're super sharks. <laughs> anyway, this, pro this, this project is purely led by curiosity, which to me is the best way of finding out, you know, new things. You know, it's, it's the best way, you know, curiosity did kill the cat. That's probably not the best <laughs> one no. to use. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, yeah, so maybe these sharks Hopefully, in the near future, might develop lasers. <laughs> Mr. Powers, you'll notice that all of the sharks have laser beams attached to their heads. I figure every creature deserves a warm meal. You know, that's what that's what you're missing. Uh -huh. So they come out the volcano. Mm -hmm. They've got lava teeth, lava eyes. They're all ready to take over that's, the world. And that's, then that's the spin at the end. Yeah. Oh, they've got lasers. Yeah. Uh, so joyriding octopi, uh, an octopus has been <laughs> captured on camera in a rather sticky situation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wrote this. <laughs> uh, rather than uh, than just lying down and accepting its fate as a dolphin's dinner, the octopus clung on to dear the dolphins <laughs> for dear life uh, as the dolphins jumping out of the water trying to sort of shake it free yeah, and then like, eat Come it. On, man. Uh, um, the, uh, the, to the dolphin's dismay, the octopus didn't give up, um, but it did make the dolphin really sort of work for its food. It did. Uh, the it poor, did. The poor little. Uh, finally, the poor knackered I'm octopus. Have to burp that out. I'm probably gonna have to bleed that out. I'll, I'll leave it in. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. The poor knackered octopus uh, could, uh, couldn't hold on anymore, and the dolphin just gobbled it up. Um, I've had octopus. It's not that tasty. I don't see the big. That's all right. I think maybe I, or maybe I overcooked it. Apparently if you overcook octopus, it's not It just gets rubbery. Uh, so the octopus still has a fighting chance. Uh, in 2015, a dead dolphin washed ashore in Bunbury. Uh, with Bunbury. A you said Bunbury. Bunbury? Yeah, Bunbury. That's one. Right. I said Bum. You didn't. I'm going to have to bleep that out. That's very Freudian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're with a live octopus in its mouth. The octopus had suffocated the dolphin uh, as it was trying to digest the creature. Um, so yeah, the octopi aren't going to be eaten. Too easy. Uh, 
I think it is probably dead though. <laughs> I have a feeling that that was that red, that the, the, the octopus killing the dolphin in 2015 was probably a rare occurrence. Yeah, it doesn't happen every day. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, Prada Man. Prada Man. So Mark, how much would you spend on a pair of, uh, what's it, boots? About 30, 40 quid. quid. Well, Prada. Man, and that's their official, it's not just Prada, it's Prada Man, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, have just released their first pair, costing $695. And to <laughs> us in the UK, that's £540, roughly. So, what's different? Well, they've got amazing features. They have neoprene fabric. They have a rubber, rubber trim zippers. And uh, they also have Velcro tabs, and the base of the shoe is a nice, soft, flexible rubber. So completely, <laughs> utterly different to every other type of boot out there. And that's not even it, they got a cool, multi-coloured version. So it looks like from the 70s, um, but to be honest with you, it kind of looks like when you're borrowing a pair for a tri-dive, that about 30 <laughs> other people have tried on. They're from the 70s, the colour itself has kind of gone this pastel uh, colour. Yep. Um, and yeah, it just looks... I don't know. Apparently, there's a picture of a famous rapper getting on a jet wearing them. I'm like, what? What? What's? What's? What, what's the problem? That's the worst thing to wear outside of the water. Yeah, near, wetsuit boots. And and again, if you do that, buy a pair of thirty quid ones, not, <laughs> not, not six hundred and ninety. I mean, why are companies like Prada pushing the agenda into sports that we all know and love? You know, they're ripping people off, Mark. I've, I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Sam. Uh -oh. Um, so yeah, so Sean ain't coming back, it seems. <laughs> uh, so this is Sam. Uh, Sam works here as, uh, at uh, Customer Services. Uh, say hello, Sam. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let, let's move on. <laughs> a marine biologist from Washington is on a massive mission to scan every species of fish in the world. <laughs> Adam Summer from Friday Harbour Laboratories brought a tomography scanner and started scanning. In total, he has to scan 33,000 fish and create 3D models for each. Adam packs 20, piece, 20 species of fish in one scan, to which he calls a fish burrito. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> By doing this, he thinks he would have scanned every fish within three years. So, you know, what's the point of all this? Well, it's mainly for educational purposes. Lecturers can download the images for their students. Museums can use the images in displays and so on. Yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah, instead of just the, because right now when you're trying to, oh, people always come up and say, like, oh, did you see that fish? Yeah, which, which fish? Uh, and then you, you it's usually get, the red one, isn't yeah, it? The red you, fish with you, the, the fins. <laughs> the fins, that's it, it the fish. It was fish and, uh, and, and you're trying to look at pictures online and they're either like really crude sort of drawings or really naff images. <laughs> Whereas if they're like 3D scans, then yeah, maybe that would be a bit easier. Um, but there's a uh, there's a new structure in Antarctica, and uh, an alien hunters. Alien hunters. Yeah, this one's cool. Uh, they've spotted a gigantic iceberg off the coast of Antarctica. That's where you commonly find an uh, iceberg. Not usually aliens. <laughs> uh, they've claimed it to be a mysterious ship. The 500 meter long object looks like an ordinary sheet of ice. Uh, that's just broken away, uh, but wise people on the in wise people <laughs> on the internet um, think it's something else. Uh, people have been saying it looks out of place and looks more like a vessel rather than an iceberg. Some conspiracy theorists claim it's part of a lost civilization, uh, and others have claimed it to <laughs> be a, uh, a UFO. I knew we had to get a UFO in there. <laughs> <laughs> Claimed it to be a, uh, a UFO that parked up close onto the iceberg. Uh, so what do you guys think it is? Uh, let us know in the comments below. How do you explain me? She's gone, she's fine. Catch her. Uh, we put a link below for the uh, coordinates so you can find it on, uh, on Google Earth. There's all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. Fingers on crossed. <laughs> 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 Ah, a killer whale has been spotted in Dubai of all places. The video of the whale, of course, has gone viral on Twitter, and this brought on a bit of a debate. A lot of people were unsure as to how dangerous the killer whale actually is. 
it got so bad that the director of the Department for Biological Diversification had to release an official statement saying the killer whale posed no threat. He even had to say they don't eat people. <laughs> and he asked people to visit whalefacts.org to get the full picture. It's a really official website. Like whalefacts.org. Whalefacts.org. <laughs> the problem was, that killer whales are very curious creatures. So the more people come out to take a look at them, the more curious it got and hung around, which in turn scared more people because it just wouldn't go away. He's probably just lonely. All his friends are up in like the Arctic Circle. He's stuck in like stuck the Arabian in Sea. He's like, just where my mates. Oh, yeah, the Gulf of um, <laughs> yeah, the Persian Gulf. Uh, in other news, a high-tech Norwegian firm have developed and started to sell ammunition that's capable of doing some serious underwater damage. Uh, the company started selling their, an uh, their ammunition to several unnamed countries, that's a bit worrying, um, <laughs> uh, which of course got the attention of America, because, yes, America. That octopus could have really done with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got eight arms. <laughs> um, the bullet carries a bubble of gas around it so it can travel underwater at great distances. And the company have to um, have created all types of bullets for all types of guns. Fantastic, well done Norwegian <laughs> firearms company. Um, so it looks like we might actually get underwater battles becoming a regular thing for the battlefield. Maybe it'll be like a James Bond movie. I'd love to see that. <laughs> um, I think someone will have to tell Aquaman that he might have some company soon. Um, but on a happy note, uh, th that will end the show. Uh, because Sean had us hope, we won't bother with random videos of the week because I hate it. Um, <laughs> if you missed it, uh, check out last week's Scuba Tube and the link should be up there somewhere. Um, thanks for watching and safe diving. Bye.